Hi, I'm Dan, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom events in your Blueprint scripts. So the setup I've got here is I've got a third-person template map, and I've created a, a Blueprint class, which includes a couch and a particle effect of fire. And as you can see, there's uh, collision boxes around them as well. This was done in a previous video. Um, I've also um, done some event scripting in here again from a previous video such that uh, if you approach one of the characters it moves and the, the, the direction it moves and depends on uh, which character it is you to need them to choose that i'll just quickly show you uh, how that works so as a it, it moves so that's Or them, they move in the different directions. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, inside this script, is I'm going to use a custom event. Um, so um, I'm going to set up a few things first that I'm going to need to be able to show this. Um, and it's going to be a little bit odd because normally when you set up a custom event, you want to be uh, contacting that and calling that, triggering it from somewhere else. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because uh, at this stage in the uh, in the tutorials, we haven't done script-to-script -script communication. That will come. This is setting up that script-to-script -script communication stuff. Uh, so uh, I've got two events here that uh, are standard events that are uh, part of the system and. Uh, event begin play and event tick. I'm going to use those uh, to do some things. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to make it so that the the blueprint class remembers its initial location. So having moved, we're going to make it move back to its initial location after a while. Um, so I'm going to make a variable. Which I'm going to call start location, which is going to be your type vector. Um, and when we begin playing, we're going to take the current location. So get back to location. I'm going to store it in this start location variable. Um, and I need another variable which is set up now, which is a counter. And that's going to be a floating point. So at this point, I'm going to show you the uh, custom event that we can create. You just type in custom event. A custom event. So you're going to need to give it a name. Um, and I'm going to call this one uh, reset me. So when we have that event triggered, the couch is going to go back to its original position. It's really easy to do because we just um, bring in the start location that was stored when the game began playing, and we're going to set it to location. Set location. There we go. So the effect is quite straightforward, or should be. <clears throat> what we're not doing yet, though, is triggering this event. Um, and as I said before, normally you would do this somewhere externally, but I'm just going to do this internally just to show it working. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it uh, count up to 10 seconds and then reset the couch. So it becomes a kind of uh, frustrating game where you're trying to move these couches, um, uh, but every 10 seconds they reset themselves. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to keep track of the time and how long so this is what the counter was for and event tick every time we get delta seconds which is the amount of time since the last tick we're just going to add that onto the counter so um plus uh, float add onto the counter i'm going to set the new value to, of the counter to the old value plus 
Then what I want to do is to check if that counter has got to 10 seconds or greater. So I'm going to do a greater than or equals check. And counts in seconds, so we'll just put 10. And if it is true, then uh, we're going to have a branch. And what we're going to do as a result of that branch is we're going to call that custom event reset me. Uh, it's slightly odd trying to do that within the uh, the same uh, blueprint class, but not too bad. So uh, what we need to do is get a reference to self. So this is a node which represents itself. And so we can use this to get hold of uh, various things inside here. Um, and we want the reset me. Event. So that's fine. What we want this to do is to do this repeatedly. So every time it comes to 10 seconds. So at this point, we also need to reset the counter. So we're just going to um, set the counter to be zero. Now, I've been doing this on the fly. Programming on the fly is always dangerous. So let's see if it works. And go into the game. Here we go. So we're going to push this back. Has 10 seconds elapsed yet? Yes, there we go. After 10 seconds, all the catches go back. So right now, if I try to play this uh, um, thing of trying to get all the catches to go out of the, the world and to disappear, it's impossible because every, every 10 seconds they reset and put themselves back. Now I could make this so that it was. Uh, more possible by increasing that time. Um, but there we are, it's quite a stupid little game. Um, uh, so, just to quickly recap, go back into here. Uh, we've created a custom event, we've given it a name, called it README, and then we have called that custom event, which is, looks like this, from somewhere else. And that's it from me for now.